I'm really interested in this closing of the field in, in Holland. And I know that sounds a little bit pedantic, but it kind of reminds me of the reactionary close of the nuclear stations in Germany in 2012. So are we, you know, are we watching Europeans do things that they're pro they may regret in five, six, seven, eight years and then reverse trend on this stuff? Well, absolutely. All you have to look at is the deindustrialization that is happening exactly right now in Germany. And then take that model and place that across every country, you know, in the EU that is following those exact same protocols, right? And so, and we're seeing that and we're seeing, you know, we're seeing chemical production flee to China. Yeah, you talk about BASF and other companies right. that have- So we're seeing all these people go to other countries that are much more amenable to uh, to this kind of business, you know, because you can't just, it, it, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. So so when you talk about these guys moving, is it is it the access to energy? Is it the kind of environmental arbitrage? They can go, go and do things in China environmentally. Is it a number of things? Is it, is it wages? What is it's, it? It's a number of things. It's the cost of, you know, it's the cost of doing business as far as energy is concerned, because obviously industrialization, you know, industrial manufacturing, et cetera, is very energy intensive. So, you know, it's the cost of doing business. You know, they ask companies to limit their, energy use 15% last winter that hasn't been lifted yet and and it's costing them 10 times the amount that they were paying before and so of course they're leaving to other countries that may incentivize them and that that's not only China this is what Europe's also worried about is that industry is going to move to the U.S. even right, <laughs> right? the because inflation reduction act well, yes, which is stress not, on reduction, which is not reducing any sort of inflation, but it does provide incentives to companies to move over to the United States if they want to, because they get a bunch of tax credits. Now, right. that doesn't influence us as taxpayers, but as far as business is concerned, you know, if you're looking to pay less, you know, your options are China and the U.S., Mexico. Mexico is great, but that's a whole nother subject. 